I'm here with head coach Darren Fisher. Now, Darren, uh, you have an event that's coming up at the end of, end of April. Tell us about that and being in Weyburn. We're going to uh, April 26th and 27th. We're going to go to Estevan and Weyburn. We're going to mm -hmm. Estevan on the 26th and Weyburn on the 27th. We're going to have our first red and black game. Uh, this is an inter-squad game that's uh, basically the first game of the season. Allow our rookies to play some of the veterans and, and really see where Playing we're at. Playing for starting positions? Starting positions, yes. It's always <laughs> it's an ongoing thing that we're always looking for uh, new people. And we have some great rookies this year, some great young, talented people that have come out. So. Oh, that's good. And so how is the sport evolving? Because I understand from you that the equipment's changing. There's a market for women's football equipment. Yeah, there's a market now because there's so many uh, girls and women that are playing. Uh, the professional league down in the states. We have uh, the Montreal team in that, and then we have the Atlantic League, and then we have the WWCFL. So it's fantastic. Uh, Emma uh, Hicks, who uh, works or plays, used to play for us, is now our strength and conditioning coach and our That's D line great. coach. She works for Football Sask, and they're starting a flag football league for the women oh, for, for high school age. So it's great. So it's really developing. We're really going well. So hopefully this morning, guys, under Darren's tutelage, maybe I will learn some skills. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> she will. I'm here with Erin Brambury, and why are you laughing? Not at all. Oh, you're laughing because of my skills. Oh, wait, I'm going to show you oh, something. Oh, come on, really? We're starting this already? Yep, bring it. Okay, so tell us about the program so far and how you're getting uh, girls involved because you have so many, so many things going on. There are a lot of things going on, actually. We're working at doing out-of-town camps. We got some time in the city here. We're going to Moose Jaw on April 13th. Uh, we're going to be there from 1 till 4, so if anybody's interested in coming out, girls can come out, go on the field with some of the players, have some fun, run through a few drills, meet the girls, mm -hmm. all that kind of thing. We'll be in Estevan and Weybrand at the end of the month. We're going to be doing a black Very and red busy. game there. Very busy. Very busy. Okay, so show me this drill that you're going to get me to do. All right, we're going to run you through a one-step slant. So all you're going to do is line up like this, foot on the line, and all you're going to do is take off with one foot, run across, catch the ball, Okay. And that's it. Looks easy. Looks okay. easy. All right, you ready? Ready. Are you ready for me? Okay. <clears throat> oh, oh, look at this. Yes! She's gonna take I'm my so job excited. already. Look at that. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm not gonna get too excited. When we come back, I'm gonna like brush up on my skills, but check this out. Mm -hmm. Taking my job. Taking my job, no, not really. I'm here with receivers coach Matthew Pfeiffer. Now, Matthew, you guys have an app coming out. I was playing around with it this morning. It's actually pretty easy to navigate. Yeah, it's, uh, go to our website. You can download it from there. Uh, we've got all the player information on there. You can go each player, get their numbers, information, how long they've been playing. Uh, some of the players you'll see a you little logo. You get player logo. cards too, is really Yeah, player cool. cards, exactly. Yeah, so yeah. some of them even, uh, you'll see a little Team Canada logo. We've got a couple girls that played for Team Canada last year, so it's kind of neat to see that. Lots of info in there. Uh, our schedule's on there, so you can see our games, when we're going to be playing, where we're going to play, and all that kind of stuff. That's great. So, one of the things you were telling me, one of the common mistakes that receivers make is their proper position, and there's so many things that they do. So yeah. tell me what you're going to show me right now. So we're going to work on our blocking. Okay. Uh, we run the ball a lot on our team, so we got to be able to block as receivers, although primary job is to catch. Second job is going to be have to catch, or is going to be blocking. So okay. we're going to have Megan here who's going to be pretending to be our defensive back. Okay. So we're going to we come forward. It's going to be yes. a nice square stance. Get our hands in there. Thumbs up. Okay. okay. And she's going to be gonna fighting towards here, me, right? so no. you want to make her go the long way around you. If she's coming to me, she's going to come this way. So if she comes be, straight okay. at me, yep. it's too easy. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There we go. Good job. I tried. She's pretty tough. So when people want more information on where you're going to be at the end of uh, April, we can just check out your website? Exactly. Check out there. We've got our locations. We're going to do our little ride on the road trip uh, we've got awesome. going on, and then season's starting up right away. Whew, I think I, I got the hang of it. This helmet was the hardest thing, I'm not going to lie. <laughs>